In this video, we will look at data list basics, sorting, filtering, database function, and external data query. In addition to its considerable computational abilities, Excel is also very accomplished at maintaining vast collections of related data in what are referred to as database, tables, or data lists. In Excel, a data list or database is a table of worksheet data that utilizes a special structure. Each column in the data list contains information and this is known as a field. Each row contains the complete information of an entity and this is called a record. All you have to do to start a new data list in a worksheet is to enter the names of the fields that you want to track in the top row and enter the first record of data beneath and format the two rows of data as a table. Modifying. So suppose you want to add a new field that is a column. All you have to do is insert a column between where you want it to be present and then type the heading. It automatically gets converted into a field. Next, if you want to add a new record or a row to the data list, all you have to do is go to the last cell of the last record and press tab. Now let us look at these in a worksheet. So first enter all the field names in the first row and enter the first record. When creating a new data list, you can make use of Excel's calculating cap capabilities by defining fields whose entries are returned by formula rather than entered manually. When you are entering the row with the first data record, be sure to format all the cells the way you want the entries in that field to appear in all the subsequent data records. So here we will make date of joining as a long date and salary as currency. So now select the entire thing, go to format as table and click any format that you want. Next we look at adding a new column. So suppose you want to include ESOP. Simply type ESOP in the column next to it and as you can see it gets automatically added. To delete a field, just click on it and then say delete from the home tab. As you can see, the new record has been added by simply pressing tab after keeping the cell pointer at H5. Now we look at a new way to add a new record using the data form. So here first click on the customize quick access toolbar and options. Then you go to command not in the ribbon. And from here you can scroll down and choose form. You will see the icon has appeared in the top left corner of the worksheet. Now select table and then click on the form button. Here you can include new records, you can browse through the records using the find, find previous find next, you can delete a record and you can also find records using the criteria function. Now suppose we want to find all records with the last name starting with the letter R. So we press criteria and then in the last name we press R star. So, of the three records present in the data list now, two records have the last name starting with R. So, you can move using the find previous and find next to see which records satisfy your criteria. In the same way, you can fill the entire table. Next, we look at how to sort data. You can use the sort and filter data command on the ribbon home tab and the auto filter buttons to quickly sort data. When you need to sort the data list on one particular field, this method is very easy. But suppose you need to sort data list on more than one field. You use the sort dialog box. You can also sort the data list columns without copying and pasting the entire thing. We will have a look at this as well. So suppose we want to sort using the first name. Just click on the down arrow and press ascending order. Now suppose you want to sort using the last name. Click on sort and filter and custom sort. And you can add a level and then choose which field you want to sort it by. Now you can see it has been sorted first by first name and then by last name. 
Now suppose you want to sort the columns. First select the entire table. Go to design and go to convert to range. Once it has been converted to range, include a row on top of the column header and this row will hold numbers in the order you want columns to be arranged. So now I want designation to be the fourth column, salary fifth, date of joining sixth and ESOP seventh. Now you can select the same and go to custom sort. And here you can change from sort by column to sort by row. So that is sort from left to right and then choose row 3 because the numbers are in row 3. Now you can see that the columns have been rearranged. Now you can select all the columns and format as a table. Now let us look at filtering. The procedure for specifying the data that you want displayed in Excel data list is called filtering. The procedure for extracting only the data that you want from a database or a data list is called as querying the database. So you can click on the auto filter button on the column on which you want to filter the data and then click the appropriate filtering criteria on that column's drop down menu. It has many text filter options like equals does not equal, date filter options as well as number filter options. Now let us look at these in the worksheet. Now suppose I want to list only the sales managers. This is how you do it. Suppose I want to list sales managers who have joined between the years 2005 and 2014. Click on the column drop down menu for date of joining and then go to date filters and press between and here you can enter Jan 1st 2005 to March 31st 2014 that is from 2005 till the current but here since all the sales managers are pointed after 2005 the list appears the same now you can copy this data list into a new worksheet and work on it separately and you can remove the filters over here so that the entire list is shown again Next we look at using database functions. Excel includes a number of database functions that you can use to calculate statistics such as total, average, maximum, minimum and count. These are very similar to the Excel functions except that these pertain to the particular data list. All the functions take, all functions take the same three arguments. Database is the argument that specifies the range. Field is the argument that specifies the field whose values are to be calculated and criteria is the argument that specifies the address of the range that contains the criteria. We have several functions like d average which finds the average of all values, count which counts the number of cells, count a counts the number of non-blank cells, d get extracts a single value, d max and d min return the highest and lowest value, d product multiplies all the values in the field, then you can have a standard deviation based on sample values, standard deviation based on population values, the sum and variance. All these functions calculate based on the criteria that you specify. Now working on these functions in the Excel sheet, first we need to specify the criteria. So here we have a criteria for date of joining as well as ESOP. Suppose I want to find the maximum employee number who has the option of ESOP, the following function is used. As you can see, it returns the value 45. Now suppose I want to find the number of people having the ESOP option. I use the second function. 
so this says that there are 15 people having the ESOPs option next suppose I want to derive the employee number of say my finance head so first I make the criteria designation equal to finance head and use the third function. Here you can see that it has returned the employee number 8 for the finance head. Finally, we look at external data query. Here we use an access database. An access database contains one or more tables of data and you can import an access table directly into Excel worksheet by choosing data, get external data and from access. The advantage of query is that it imports only data that is required. So let us see how to import data from an access database. So first, under data, go to from other sources and Microsoft query. The following dialog box opens. Suppose you want to add new data source. Click on that and say OK. The following dialog box pops up. You can give a particular name, select the driver, connect with the requested driver and select a default table. So here we already have database so you click that and say OK. The next step is to choose the columns that you want in your query. Here we are choosing all the columns. Say press next. And now you want to filter the data. So suppose I want division North America. Then I want a department shipping. Then I want category which does not equal compensation or facility. And I want only those years greater than 2008. So now it asks me how I want to sort it. So I want to sort it using the ID in the ascending order. And then it asks where I want the query to be given. So I want it in my Excel sheet. You say finish. And it asks you whether you want it as a table or a pivot table or pivot chart. So we say table and as you can see it has returned the query. So here you have only year greater than 2008. It has a division of North America. It has a department of shipping and the category is only supplies, services and equipments. This ends the video on data management and analysis.